morning, everyone, and welcome to my assembly this morning. The focus of the assembly, as you can see, is going to be on being kind. So, firstly, why have I chosen my assembly on being kind? Well, firstly, as we all know, the last 12 to 18 months have been tough for everyone. We've all been through so much. We've all had our individual challenges. And as we start to return back to some form of normality, I think that we all need to start doing our bit to make the community a better place and to ensure that we can all look after each other as best possible. My aim for this assembly is to get you all to reflect on how we treat our friends, teachers, other students, and hopefully get you to make some small differences in the way in which you apply yourself within our community to make it a better place for us all. Being kind is so easy, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. To start things off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some of my personal experiences from the last 12 to 18 months that I've been through. The purpose of this is to make you all understand that everyone has got their own challenges within their private lives they're going through. Everyone is always going through sometimes some real tough phases in their lives. And therefore, I think it's important that we understand this when we behave and how, how we behave around other people, how we treat other people, how we treat members of staff how we treat students that we don't know when we're in the corridors or on the cages. I want us all to consider and recognize that that individual who you may be giving a hard time, you may be throwing some banter at them, you may be being rude to them in a classroom, you may be in confrontation towards member staff. These people have feelings, they have emotions, they may be going through things in their personal life. And the last thing they need is somebody they don't know giving them a hard time. OK, we need to do our bit to look after each other within this community, because like I've just said, it will make it a better place for us all. So those that know me, whether I've worked with you on a one to one basis in the pastoral or whether I've taught you in our GCSE and A-level classes, you know that I like to share my personal experiences in the hope to try and help you guys grow. Them. So like I said, I want to make sure that this morning I start things off by making you understand a little bit about my last 12 to 18 months in the hope that you can reflect upon things as I go through the remainder of the assembly. So last year, as some of you guys will know, I was faced with a lot of serious challenges, which I had to overcome. Thankfully, I had my friends, my family, my wife around me to support me through being kind, through acts of kindness to get me through that phase of my life. So on top of all the lockdowns that were in place most last year, I was told that my dad had been diagnosed with terminal cancer last February. It was just before we went into that first major lockdown. On top of that, I lost my uh, family dog uh, in June. I lost my family cat in October. Uh, and although we were promised to have 12 to 18 months with my dad, okay, we only had six months and we lost him in September. So as you can imagine, that was a real tough period in my life with three, low, three close losses that my family had to deal with during a pandemic, during a lockdown. On top of this, now this is the best part of my life so far, but obviously those teachers, those parents out there who are listening to this video will understand that it has its challenges. I became a father. So I became a father in May during the middle of everything I just talked about. So on top of everything I've just been talked about, I had the sleepless nights and the fears and the challenges of being a father for the first time. So I went through an enormous amount over those last six months. Now, why on earth am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I was fortunate enough to have a community around me that were kind enough to check in on me and make sure I was doing okay. It was those little things that I'm gonna talk about in a second. A quick text message, a telephone call, turning up at my front door just for five minutes to see that I was okay. Everyone is busy. Everyone has hectic personal lives juggling multiple things. And I was fortunate enough to have a group of people around me that could still find the time to make sure that I was okay, to bring some food around, okay? Just to see me for five minutes. The simple text of how are things, are you okay? Thinking of you. These small gestures make a massive, massive difference. So moving on now, how does this apply to you all today? I'm not gonna to try and attempt to make serious changes in your behavior. I'm not going to talk about some of the serious issues that we face in society today, whether it's bullying, 
okay, trolling through social media. I'm going to focus on some of these simple, simple things that you can change in your behavior that will make a massive difference to our school community. Those little things that will make someone else's life a lot easier and make them a little bit happier. <clears throat> so how can we be kind? These next slides are just some simple things that you guys could be doing to be kind. Firstly, taking the time, four, five, ten minutes to really listen to someone. OK, just be an ear for someone to talk to. Forgive someone. We all have our fallouts. We can't see a demon on a pastoral side. People having fallouts over really minor things. Can we just say, I'm sorry? Can we forgive someone so we can move on with our lives? Okay, and rebuild that friendship. Can we spend some time with a friend who needs you? We've all been faced with challenges. Okay, people are still going through an enormous amount. Can we be there with for them? Okay, can we take five, ten minutes of our break or our lunchtime? Go for a walk, have a chat, check in on them during form time. Other things, those guys in sixth form will know. A big focus for me in regards to our local community is litter. It's a massive issue. And I've worked really hard with some really amazing year 12 students who are trying to make a community a better place by picking up some litter. Okay, even if it's not yours, you've seen the mess on the cages. If it's your litter, can you go to the, one of those many bins that are placed around the school and put it in there rather than just chucking it on the floor? A simple act of kindness is going to make life a lot easier for our premises staff so they're not spending hours of their day picking up the litter around the school site being kind other things that we can do holding the door open for other people it's such a simple thing when you're rushing between your lessons people flying through doors could we be a bit more considerate if we see a member of staff who's having to go from classroom to classroom with all their books their laptops their rucksacks okay could we hold the door open for them to let them through to make that journey for them a little bit easier. For our lads around who are running around with big bags and hockey bags and cricket bags, okay, can we hold the door open to let them get through? If we're in the classroom and someone's forgotten a pencil case, someone's missing a piece of equipment, could we just simply just give them a pen for that lesson to reduce that stress and worry of not having the right tools for that lesson? Could we ask how our friend is? I've talked about that already, the simple thing. Being polite to every single person that you meet. How can we do that? Smile, say hello, how are you? Okay, just be polite to every single person you meet. So what places with the person behind you in the queue? This is probably more relevant to the canteen. I've seen the way you will queue up, the way you will push through if you're in the older year groups. You get through in five, 10 minutes, can't you just wait your turn, get a single file line? Make life easier for those staff supervising those areas and just wait patiently for your food and leave. Say something nice about someone behind their back, especially some of you older boys. Okay, I see it in a sport environment. I understand within sport and that the way in which banter is used and stuff. But sometimes it goes a bit too far. Could we recognize the fact that by being a bit positive about someone, complimenting someone, that is such a powerful tool and will go so far in helping someone's self-esteem and confidence instead of constantly being knocked down. That whole idea of saying something nice about someone behind their back, spreading good news about some of your friends, okay, is going to be a really powerful tool to help those students. This slide's all about the mental and physical benefits of being kind to others. It's going to reduce stress around school. It's going to reduce stress of our pastoral team, of our teachers. Okay, because of the way in which you're behaving, the way in which you're speaking to them, the way in which you follow instructions, the way in which you act in the corridors, on the cages. Okay, it's going to make things easy for other students who may be affected sometimes by the way in which you behave in the classroom. It makes their stress levels decrease. They go into a better learning environment. It's going to increase your self-worth and self-esteem. It's going to make you feel better about yourself. I'm, no, I'm not perfect. I never will be. But I know that I do feel that, self, that, that element of increased self-worth and self-esteem when I do something good for somebody else. And it does make you feel better and happier. It decreases feelings of loneliness, depression and helpless. Okay, by doing those things to help those people around you. By not giving those people you don't know a hard time for no reason. And it improves that sense of being connected. Okay, and that's to the whole community. 
okay strengthening that connection okay across our school community to make it a better place for all now this final slide here is about the opposite of kindness those people at the moment who choose not to be kind all the time okay an element of this is down to what people consider as fear people won't want to do it for the reasons stated on this slide here okay those that say i'm not picking that up it's got nothing to do with me i'll show him respect if he shows me some first why do we have to wait for the compliment or for someone to show us respect first why can't we be proactive and be respectful and polite to every person why can't we be the bigger person and say sorry first why do we have to wait for someone to apologize first why do we have to wait for an apology why can't we just say sorry and move on this idea is giving as good as i get why can't we be the bigger better person and just move on from a situation these are the issues that we face at the moment in our community with a very small number of our students that we can change so easily the issue is these students unfortunately feel that by being kind it shows vulnerability it shows weakness in my eyes it shows the complete opposite so to conclude this assembly i hope that for some of you you may reflect upon how you behave within this community how you treat your friends other students teachers you may think of the bigger picture how you treat other members of the public when you're out in the streets okay when you're out on the weekend how you treat your parents your brothers your sisters could we make some small changes to make us better people to conclude this assembly now what i've asked is, is some of our prefects to do a short video on what kindness means to them following that there's a link that i've sent to your former tutors it's a short five six minute video uh, from youtube that i found last week which i thought was really powerful again which hopefully again make you think a little bit more about things and hopefully over the weekends you can make some positive changes and come back a better person next week thank you all for your time take care and have a great weekend remember to be kind don't be a bystander stand up for what's right if you haven't spoken to a friend in a while check up on them see how they are teachers are human too so a thank you goes a long way remember the small things matter so please pick up your litter respect your environment and don't take things for granted kindness costs nothing and it can go a very long way